Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk to you guys about three new weapon variants coming to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, these weapon variants were found over on Reddit from Lack and a Good Name. He's a well-known data miner of the Call of Duty scene, if you guys don't know who he is. And he found a bunch of other stuff too, like the Model 1887 and the Bear 50 Cal, but I did kind of talk about those in another video. So, if you guys want to go check out that stuff, it's going to be a link in the description. And he found more information about those, such as attachments for those guns, and uh, some more weapons that are going to be coming as well. But for right now, I want to focus on these three weapons because they are pretty pretty good guns in the game and so yeah the first gun we're gonna look at here is the NV4 church and the reason why they call it a church is because you're gonna be fucking praying that you don't die by this damn gun because it's so good and I do have a feeling that the NV4 church is gonna be the best gun or at least the best weapon variant in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare because of these two perks so the first one we have here is called Ninja and basically it grants dead silence whenever you're airborne or wall running so that right there is gonna be really really good for S&D and, and you know pretty much just any game mode but you're, you're really are guaranteed a free dead silence perk with this gun and you know to make things better it comes with a sharpshooter perk and this increases the damage and of course there is going to be a mark 2 variant of this gun so like i said uh, the mv4 church might be the best weapon variant in call of duty infinite warfare when it comes out and the next up here we have the rpr evo evac and there's also a mark 2 variant for this as well and its two perks are iron slide and this grants blast shield while crouched prone or sliding so you know that right there is kind of like the mv4 church you're guaranteed a free perk you're guaranteed blast shield so whenever you see a scarab or maybe like a trip mine on the ground you can just crouch and you'll be able to survive that with this gun so a really good perk in the game and very underrated gun as well and then next up here we have steady and this reduces the hip fire spread and this also stacks with the laser sight so I feel like this gun is going to be used for more tactical play and uh, so yeah overall this gun looks really really good as well but I still think the NV4 church is going to be the best weapon variant as well even though the RPR EVO evac is is uh, pretty good as well and then next up here we have the KBS longbow conjure and uh, there's also a mark 2 variant for this gun as well and it has two perks the first one one is called Vanish, and this grants blind eye while prone after a short delay. And then next up here we have Kickback, and this kills with the last few bullets, and the magazine refills the mag. So a pretty cool gun in the game, but uh, you know I'm still not really too all excited for this gun because I'm not really too much of a sniper. I mean I do like the whole uh, free blind eye perk that is pretty good, but again I'm not really a sniper, so I'm not really going to use this gun too much in the game if I do happen to get it or craft it. But you guys better believe that I'm going to be using that MV4 Church or the RPR Evo Evac when I get those because I'm going to be grinding so much for salvage i think i pretty much can actually craft the church because i almost have every mv4 variant and i do have enough salvage to get like at least one or two of them because i've been grinding the game i haven't really spent any salvage at all except for like a few of uh, a few hacks in the game but other than that i still have a lot of salvage in the game so you best believe that i'm going to craft the mv4 church and if you guys can actually craft it as well i recommend doing so because uh, judging by the perks of this gun it looks really really good and like i said it could be the best weapon variant in the game as well and and this, yeah, guys. Next up here, we actually have some more information about score streak variants coming into the game. And uh, Lack and a Good Name says that they're pretty much ready to be added into the game, so we could see them any day now. I do think that all this stuff is going to be coming by DLC 2 next week on Tuesday, so be on the lookout for that, guys. Again, you want to save up your salvage and keys for this uh, event that's going to be happening because, I mean, I do feel that we're going to get a lot of stuff in supply drops, such as all these guns and uh, score streak variants as well. So definitely, definitely save up your salvage and your keys for the entire week. And if you guys do have the 500 keys for that uh, that a uh, supply drop uh, bundle that's going on right now, I definitely recommend saving that right now because you could possibly get all these guns in those supply drops. And uh, so yeah, guys, definitely do save up your keys and salvage. But again, be on the lookout for all this stuff coming on Tuesday. And I uh, say, so yeah, guys, keep you all updated with any information I find. But uh, drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. And comment your thoughts about these guns and score streak variants coming to the game. I want to know what you all think about that down in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'm a very rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later.